Blog Talk Radio. I'm your host, Davina Shinsky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits. Today, we're doing a special New Year's Day show. And the title is The Nine Things That You Must Become to Achieve Your Biggest Goals in the New Year. For instance, what if, and let's talk about this for a minute, maybe you set a date line of December 9th, 2018. I want you to think back over the last 12 months. Where were you this time last year? Who were you? For one thing, who we are today is not who we are tomorrow because the experiences we have today affect who we are tomorrow. So we're in constant flux and if you understand that and you use the knowledge that you learn every day on a daily basis to change and mature, then you will never be in the same place from one moment to the next. And people don't understand this, that right away when they look at a marriage, when it doesn't work, they'll look and they'll blame one or the other. But there's so many different things and factors that make a relationship work because what makes it work is who the two people are and that you're on the same same journey because if that journey veers off to one side or the other side, then you're not in sync anymore and it causes problems. So most importantly, where are you now? What's changed for you in the last year? What has it? In what ways have you grown? In what ways have you slid back into negative patterns and behaviors? Tough questions, I know. Now, I want you to fast forward 12 months to December 9th, 2020. Where do you want to be? What do you want your life and your business to be like? Imagine your life one year from today. Everything you ever dreamed of was actually accomplished. So let's go back and let's say that again. Where were you on January 1st, 2019? And where are you today in this new new decade? of 2020 on January 1st. What would you need to do? Who would you have to be? What needs to happen in the next 365 days for you to bridge the gap between where you are today and where you want to be in the future? Listen, when you're looking back, looking ahead, it's easy to see what needs to be done. It's easy to spot your mistakes and successes and identify those things that need to change for you to achieve your 10 times bigger life. What's not easy is taking massive action on what you know, and implementing the lessons that you're learning. I was fortunate enough to go through the exercise with more than 1,700 entrepreneurs over the last years. And what I found is that there are a few common characteristics that separate those who make the quantum leap to success and those who continue to struggle and get left behind. 
And if you will take my advice and follow these nine rules, if you will commit to becoming these nine things, I promise you'll arrive at this day 12 months from now and look back at 2020 as the best year of your life. Okay. Now, here's the first thing that you need to look at. Clear? You need to be clear on your values and vision. They drive every decision that you ever make. And your vision is something where you can actually picture yourself where you want to be and get a vision of that and write it down. And by writing it down, what you're doing is clarifying it for yourself. To achieve your biggest goals in 2020, the number one thing that you must become is crystal clear on your values and your vision. Listen, I work with a lot of entrepreneurs who have incredible work ethics. Men and women who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty and put in 10 to 16 hour days to achieve their dreams. The challenge they face, likely the same challenge that you are facing right now, is that they are what I call a lost lawyer. They hustle. They grind themselves down to the bone. But they aren't clear on why they're doing it or what the end game really is. For example, a few years ago, my friend Vince and his wife, Flavia, came out to one of my business growth workshops. At the time, Vince was running three seven-figure businesses, and his wife was running a multiple six-figure coaching company. Even though they were making a ton of money, they weren't clear on their values or their vision. They wanted to have more freedom to spend time with their kids and do the things that they love. But they didn't have a roadmap to get there. After sitting down with me for a day, I helped them get clarity on what they really wanted. And after the workshop, Vince shut down two of his businesses to focus on the one thing he was most passionate about. And Flavia quit her business to become a full-time mom. Even though their income dropped in the short term, within 12 months, this grew his company five times. And now he's on track to break eight figures in 2020. And the best part, today they have more free time than ever before. Flavia stays at home with her kids. Vince works fewer hours each week. And they have the freedom to actually enjoy the results of their hard work without clarity on what you value and what you want to achieve in your life and business. You'll continue to struggle in 2020. No matter how many hours you put in or how hard you work, however, when you take the time to get clear on what you want and what you value, everything will fall into place and you'll achieve your goals 10 times faster. Be unstoppable and disciplined to pursuit of your goals. 
Setting goals is a very important part of understanding what your mission of your business is and the kind of action plan that you need to incorporate when you put your goals into action. On the other side of the spectrum, from the lost warrior, we have the daydreamers, entrepreneurs, and would-be high performers who do have clarity on what they want and what they value, but who lack the discipline necessary to make it happen. Listen, clarity is important, but if you lack the discipline to put that clarity into action, if you hit this news button, scroll through Instagram when you should be working and waste your time with endless dreams of Netflix originals. Your level of clarity doesn't matter. To achieve your big goals in 2020, you must develop discipline and get ruthless. Accountability from someone you deeply do not want to disappoint. <coughs> Back in my early 20s, I was a classic daydreamer. I had big goals for the online business I was going to create someday. I had a clear vision for what I wanted, but I was trapped by my undisciplined patterns and habits. Even though I knew what I wanted, I lacked the discipline and accountability to make it happen. When I finally reached out to help and found mentors who could hold me accountable to my big goals and aspirations, everything changed. Within 18 months, I went from broke, socially anxious, binge drinking, personal trainer to a six-figure online entrepreneur running the business of my dreams. And if you want to make 2020 the best year of your life, you must. But the systems in place to make the, the discipline automatic. For instance, when we're talking about putting those systems in place, we're talking about digital marketing. And why is that important? Because today you can set your online business on autopilot so that even when you're not working it on a regular basis, it's working for you. When I finally reached out for the help, and found mentors who could hold me accountable to my big goals and aspirations, everything changed. And if you want to make 2020 the best year of your life, you must make this and put the system in place to make discipline automatic for you. Whether you enlist the help of a coach or an accountability partner, or simply set up an environment to eliminate the need for discipline, throwing away all your junk food, canceling your cable, selling your TV, or pouring out the rooms. You must develop the unstoppable discipline required to make the right decisions. And one way to effectively do that is literally this. Set up a time management system and write out what you are going to be doing at specific times and take breaks. This allows you to keep yourself on track and to literally hold yourself accountable to do those things that you say you want to do. Structured and strategic. Have, I have a client and let's call him Jimmy, who runs an amazing startup that uses 
artificial intelligence powered robots to clean oil tankers, saving money and lives. Now, when Jimmy and I started working together, he was already disciplined. He had crystal clarity on what he valued or what he was trying to achieve. And even though his business was already doing well, he was struggling to find new clients and keep the cash flow coming in. Jimmy was what I call a business battler and lacked a proven strategy for generating new leads and consistently scaling his business. After we sat down together at one of my workshops, I gave him a simple email outreach strategy. And within a few weeks, we used that strategy to close a $300,000 deal. Here's the thing. Knowing exactly what you want and having the discipline to take action for your desires is essential. <coughs> it doesn't matter how amazing your strategy is if you don't have the clarity and discipline to implement it in the right way. But to become an empire builder and achieve the 10 times success that you've been after for a long time, you must have a proven strategy of someone who has been there and done that. You need the objective outside eyes of your business to ensure that you're on the fastest path to success. Sometimes the only thing standing between you and a seven-figure success is a 5% tweak to the strategy you're using to grow your business. And by enlisting a coach or a mentor with a proven track record of success, you can shave years off your learning curve and discover simple ways to inject more cash into your business now. Ruthlessly productive. Product productivity is one of the most misunderstood terms of the planet. When most people think about productivity, they think about doing more, about cramming more projects into their schedule, finding ways to do things faster and being more effective. But, as a Peter Drucker said, there's nothing so useless as doing efficiently what shouldn't be done at all. To achieve your big goals in 2020, you must become a master of ruthless productivity. And it all starts by eliminating the things that you should not be doing. Delegating the task outside your area of genius and automating the things technology can do for you. Unfortunately, productivity is about the things that you say no to so that you have the time, energy, and attention to focus on what's the most important. To start today, Look at everything on your to-do list and ask yourself, does this need to be done? And if so, do it. And does it need to be done by me? Do you need to respond to your own emails, book your own flights, cook your own meals, clean your own house, or respond to every sales call. Who can you hire to do the dirty deeds that you and so that you can free up your time to focus on high level strategizing and empire building 
required to achieve your biggest dreams to help you master the art of ruthless, ruthless productivity. You must put together a guide up to time ownership that will teach you how to shave 10 to 20 hours of your work week today. Just click here and, and check it out. And what I mean by that is this, that for one thing, when you are first in a startup and you don't have a lot of money, sometimes what is it that you do? You will do every task in your business instead of learning how to, how to outsource or delegate out to virtual assistants or someone else who can choose to do what they are good at. Because you know what? There are bloggers out there. There are people who literally uh, do copywriting. All of these things that you're not good at, you can delegate out to someone else. And when you delegate them out, guess what? That gives you more time to concentrate on the things that you're really good at. And when you concentrate on those things that you're really good at, then guess what? You become more productive and your income goes out, or rather goes up, obsessed with high income skills. Skills pay the bills. And to achieve massive success in the new year, you must become obsessed with developing high-income skills to increase the value that you bring to the market. It doesn't matter how amazing your offer is or how hard you work. If you haven't developed the skills that will help you monetize your offer and work ethic, you'll always struggle to make the income that you desire. Specifically, you must become a master of marketing. Get the right message in front of the right people. Sales, convincing those people to give you money. And leadership, building a team that can help you make money while you sleep. A few years ago, when I first started my online business coaching, company, I was struggling to get my message out to the right people. I knew that I needed to develop my skills as a marketer and decided to start using the Instagram to attract new leads into my business. At the time, I was horrible on video and had no idea how to make the platform work for me. But as I developed my presence on video and learn how to make the Instagram algorithm work in my favor. The money started to trickle. Today, as a direct result of my commitment to mastering the skills of video marketing, I've made more than $2.3 million from my Instagram profile, and my income continues to increase almost every month. Right now, I want you to identify your number one skill that you can develop that will create a disproportionate result in your business. Then, over the next 90 days, I want you to commit to practicing that skill for a minimum of 60 minutes a day. If you're struggling to find new leads, work to refine your marketing and master the, the mediums you use to share your message. If you have plenty of leads but no sales, refine the particular articulation of your offer to improving your copywriting or over-the-phone selling skills. If your business is becoming or booming but you have no free time and are trapped in the golden handcuffs of success, learn how to hire 
and train the right people to do the dirty work that will help to free up your time and high-level strategizing. If you do this, I promise your business will grow faster than ever possible. Personally, be responsible for everything in your life. In the 21st century, there's no shortage of scapegoats to whom we can point and blame for all problems, from corrupt politicians to greedy corporations to unethical competition. It's easy to blame other people for our problems and challenges. But fear or not, the simple truth is that no one cares about your excuses, even if you're and they are valid. And to reach the, the pinnacles of success in your field, you must accept that the success is your responsibility and your responsibility alone. No coming to save you. And no one cares about your alibis for mediocrity. For, for you are responsible for everything in your life and everything that's not in your life. And this is good news because if you're responsible for everything, then you have control over your life and future to achieve the success that you desire in 2020. Take complete ownership of your life and results. You must learn to accept the things that you can't control, the government, the competition, and take the action on the things that you can, no matter how bad a hand that you've been dealt, you can find a way to succeed if you are willing to be resourceful and take complete responsibility for your action and results. And the last thing that we're going to talk about is that you need to be resilient. No matter how effectively you plan, how clearly you are, how much discipline you have, or how many skills you develop, stuff happens. Employees and spouses leave you. Competitors will steal your best clients. Your favorite marketing platform will inexplicably change its algorithm and cut your revenue in half. It's an unavoidable part of entrepreneurship life. But when you're faced with the unexpected challenges and setbacks to do, do not panic. Be resilient in the face of adversity and commit to being resourceful and finding a way to succeed against the odds. It's always up to you to understand how you as an individual have control over your life and how it's important for you to set goals. And by setting those goals for yourself, then you have the opportunity to get where you want to be in a year from now. It's just a matter of taking the time and putting forth the effort to work on those goals. And remember, you can go to my website. And that website is number one, personalcareercoach.com. And we can sit down with you and help you put together a mission statement and an action plan to reach your goals in the next year.